I'm here at the 61st ASH meeting in Orlando, uh, where a number of uh, exciting studies are being presented in myeloma. I want to talk about a trial that is in progress right now using a new molecule, which is a first in human trial uh, with this uh, CD38 targeted uh, drug. Now we all know that CD38 is a very attractive therapeutic target based on the results we have seen with monoclonal antibodies like uh, Dratimumab. Uh, that is highly effective in this disease as well as others like isatuximab that also seems to target the same uh, antigen. Um, the TAC-169 um, is a new molecule which is uh, a monoclonal antibody that is targeted against CD38 but it's different from the existing ones in that it is actually attached to a toxin which is a sugar-like toxin. So given the fact that CD38 is a uh, therapeutically validated target in myeloma, it makes sense to uh, explore different ways to make it better. Now, one of the approach uh, that is being taken is to um, attach different toxins to it. This particular trial is looking at the sugar-like toxin that has been combined uh, in other um, malignancies where it has been look combined to monoclonal antibodies and has been shown to be effective. Uh, there are clearly some toxicities associated with that as well, um, especially damage to the endothelium and so forth. Uh, so right now, um, this clinical trial is just starting up. Hopefully, we will have the first patient treated here fairly soon. So the trial design calls for a dose escalation of the TAC-169 uh, in patients who have previously been treated with an immunomodulatory drug, a prodisome inhibitor, um, and a, um, a with or without uh, prior exposure to monoclonal antibodies. Um, the, once, the, once we reach the maximum tolerated dose, and we'll be using a Bayesian design to reach that maximum tolerated dose early, uh, then we will um, expand the trial to include a cohort of patients who have never been treated with anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody to get a true sense of how uh, this works in that patient group, and also in people who have previously been exposed to Dratimumab to see if uh, this can provide an added advantage um, to those patients who are relapsing on that particular drug. So uh, we are quite excited. Um, the, the trial hopefully will be a, um, accruing patients soon and with next ASH we hope to actually present some um, patient data.